does the armature compare mean? It means that we're going to connect two transistors in a special way. So I take one transistor, NPN, okay, collector base emitter, and I'm going to connect the emitter of the first to the base of the second. So when I do this, it becomes a special circuit called a Darlington pair. And then what I do is, here's my collector of the second, emitter of the second. I connect the collector of the first with the uh, collector of the second. And that's my circuit. So now, with this kind of a connection, I end up with one base, one emitter, and one collector. Okay? So what I want you to do is go to page two, and draw a circle around the uh, two transistors like this. Draw a circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Just do this. So that you see that you've got three leads coming up. A collector, a base, and an emitter. This is a Darlington circuit. And here's how a Darlington circuit works. We start off with a base current to the first transistor. We'll call this Q1, and we'll call this Q2. So, we start off with IB at Q1. So that's like opening up the tap slightly, just gently. So we're gonna turn on Q1 just a little bit. So there's a little bit of base current flowing in Q1. When that happens, we all know that it's going to cause a little large collector current to start flowing in the transistor circuit, right? A little bit of IB causes a large IC to flow. That IC is going to combine with IB. And what do you now have? A value of IB, which is going to be a combination of IB and IC. Everybody's, everybody okay there? What's interesting is this IE now becomes IB of the second transistor. Do you see how IE becomes IB of the second transistor? So now it becomes the tap of the second transistor. This one was a small opening which caused a large IC to flow, which now means that IB is fairly large at the second transistor, which is going to do what to the collector? It's going to be even larger here, isn't it? Yep. So IC is going to be big in the second transistor. It's going to combine with this IB, and you're going to end up with a large IB. You follow? So that's what the Darlington circuit does, is a little bit of IB will cause a super large I see in the circuit to flow. And basically what it means is you've got your HFE at Q1, HFE total is going to be HFE of the first one, not added with the HFE of the second one, but multiplied by HFE of the second one. Okay, so the total gain of a Darlington is the gain of the first transistor times the gain of the second transistor. So let's, for argument's sake, uh, say that HFE of the first one is 200 and the HFE of the second one is 200. Then what's 200 times 200? How much? We don't need a calculator for this. 40,000. Do you 
see, that's what we're saying is the gain in a circuit like this. A little bit of current here, let's say 10 microamps. So IV here is 10 microamps. Just a tiny little current of 10 microamps, and it's going to be amplified to 40,000 times bigger on in this circuit over here. So what is 40,000 times 10 microamps? How much? Is it 400,000 microamps? Is that 400 milliamps? Okay, so that's what the calculation shows. So this is like a theoretical, theoretical or calculated value. In reality, it will not be this big, okay? Actual will be small, will be I see at Q2 saturated, saturated value, okay? The actual current here will be when this transistor saturates. And when does it, when does the transistor saturate? When the voltage across it becomes zero. So that's what we're going to do in our example on page two. So, let's do the example on page two now. 